What's going on, guys? I am with the Moose. And I am ATB Mutt. And we're back with another episode of our Mutt 16 rating guesses. Again, today we're going to be breaking down an AFC West team, the Kansas City Chiefs. In the 2015 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs selected Marcus Peters, cornerback out of Washington, with the 18th overall pick. They definitely thought he was the most complete cornerback in the draft, and uh, he definitely should make an impact right away. Probably will join, uh, you know, Sean Smith and company, and uh, hopefully make an impact on the Chiefs' defense and, you know, make him even better. So. Uh, Marcus Peters definitely going to be nice. He's six feet tall, has uh, some good stats at the combine, four, five, three, uh, four yard dash, pretty quick on the field. So he should definitely make an impact when he starts playing. We're going to guess that he's going to be a low 70 overall. Just that you know he's he's kind of a young player, probably won't get a ton of playing time, but will probably play a little bit. We're going to guess around a 70 to a 71 overall for Marcus Peters. At number five on our Kansas City Chiefs countdown is Jeremy Macklin, newly signed this offseason, had played the first five seasons of his career with the Philadelphia Eagles, and his best season was absolutely last year with over 1,300 yards receiving and 10 TDs to go along with it. Uh, just a fantastic year for Jeremy Macklin, and he couldn't have had a better time considering it was a contract year. He also actually got the Team of the Week hero in Week 9 with six catches on seven targets for 158 yards and two touchdowns as well. Jeremy Macklin should be a very good card to set off Mutt, 15, or Mutt 16, I should say. Um, but we're going to guess around an 85 overall, just missing base elite status. And we're, we're thinking that purely because there are so many fantastic receivers out there that are going to have, you know, 86s, 87s, and, and above like that. So Jeremy Macklin's still going to be very, very good to start off Mutt 16 around an 85 overall. Coming in at number four on our top five Kansas City Chiefs in Mutt 16 is defensive tackle Dontari Poe. Not going to lie, I think his Combine Warrior Hero card is uh, one of the funniest card arts in Mutt 15. I mean, really, there's there's nothing not to love about a fat guy running a 40-yard dash in spandex. I mean, that is a whole lot of man right there. And, you know, Poe continued his solid NFL career in 2014. He racked up 38 tackles and 6 sacks. He really kills the run game with his huge frame, takes up a lot of the offensive line, which allows Justin Houston, who you'll be seeing a little later in this video, uh, allows Houston to get in there and sack the quarterback. He's entering his fourth year in 2015, uh, so we think he's going to have a strong card to start out uh, Mutt 16, probably around an 86 overall, uh, which is going to put him right at the elite level to start the game. At number three on our Kansas City Chiefs countdown is Tamba Ali, uh, definitely a great pass rusher for them. He was drafted in 2006 and has really been a mainstay on their team for uh, the eight years that he's played in the NFL. So um, he's still going to be a base elite this year, but we are going to drop him one overall from his base elite. Uh, to start last season. He had an 88 overall. We're going to drop him to an 87 overall. That's purely because uh, his production kind of fell off a little bit. The season before, he had 11 sacks. This season, he only had six sacks. Uh, he also had an interception the year before. He didn't have one this year, although that's not really his game. He's more of a pass rusher. He did have more tackles this year, so that's kind of nice to see. But given that the sacks dropped by almost half, uh, we're going to have to drop him down one to an 87 overall. Coming in at number two on our top five Kansas City Chiefs in Mutt 16 is running back Jamal Charles. Charles ran for over 1,000 yards for the fifth time in his NFL career in 2014. He added nine rushing touchdowns and five receiving touchdowns. Now, his best card in Mutt 15 is only a 94 overall 24-hour football outsider card that he got earlier this year. But you know what? I'm willing to bet that he gets a final edition here or something similar to that to end out Mutt 15 because he really did have a pretty great year. Um, you know, I know I, I know Moose is running with that 94 overall right now, and it really plays above his overall. He's such a quick and shifty back, pretty similar to a, like a LaShawn McCoy or a Chris Johnson. Uh, because of all of this, we're thinking he, he starts out Mutt 16 uh, in, in probably the same overall range where he started out uh, in Mutt 15, probably going to get an either an 87 or an 88 overall. Coming in at number one for the Kansas City Chiefs this year is going to be Justin Houston. This should be no surprise to anyone who paid attention to football last season. He had 22 sacks along with four, four forced fumbles. And uh, those 22 sacks were just half a sack behind Michael Strahan for the all-time single-season sack record. Just an absurd season. He had the positional hero absolutely deserving of it. And uh, unfortunately, if it weren't for the season that J.J. Watt had, pretty much carrying the Texans to a winning record, uh, Houston would have certainly won Defensive Player of the Year. Obviously, Watt deserving in his own right. But Justin Houston, a great season with 22 sacks. And we're going to predict that he's going to be a 91 overall. Um, that would pretty much put him in the top five Mutt players in Mutt 16. Um, and I definitely think he deserves to be up there with 22 sacks. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? Going to be one of the best pass rushers in Mutt 16 to start it off. And I would highly recommend getting him if you can. He's going to cost a ton, though. 
that will do it for our top five Kansas City Chiefs in Mutt 16. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys were wondering about Eric Berry, um, you know, leaving him out on the list, um, of course he was diagnosed with cancer uh, a few months back, and that's obviously very unfortunate. And his, his recovery is going well as far as I can tell from uh, the limited news that he puts out. But um, it's still up in the air as to whether or not he'll play in the NFL this upcoming season. So we left him off the list. Obviously he'd probably be, you know, one of the lower elites, you know, an 86, maybe an 85, somewhere in that range. But we left him off the list just because, you know, we thought maybe he might not even play this season. So that's the reason behind that. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below and uh, let us know who you think your top five Indiana Indianapolis Colts are. They are next on uh, the list of teams to do. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.